Hello all, welcome to the Traffic Analysis T-Shark Unleashed course at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to convert packets into HTML. And this is one of my personal favorites uh, because I tend to use it quite a lot. So let's jump right into the action. Now, why is this important or interesting? Many a times when you want to go ahead and share information about uh, you know, a certain packet, it's kind of painful to send the PCAP file because the receiver may not immediately have access to tools like Wireshark. And this is really where if you could send it in a format where the receiver can quickly download and you know, view the packet, uh, things would be much faster. So what if you could convert a packet into an HTML page for quick viewing. Now this is what we are going to look at in this video. So first let's actually have t -shark generate some traffic for us and let's write it out into a file. I'm going to generate ICMP. You can do it for uh, pretty much anything. And again, you know, uh, I'm not applying a filter which we'll look at later. I'm just going to generate ICMP traffic so the PCAP file will have majority of ICMP packets. Uh, but it may have other packets as well. Uh, the other thing, okay, so let's actually first go ahead and save this. And it's already started saving some packets. Is the ping is already running, looks like. So I'm going to hit a control C to actually stop this. There we go stop the ping as well and if you look at this file with t shark dash r icmp dot pcap we would basically see icmp arp and some other traffic in there as well great now let's actually output this in pdml format so if you remember this is dash t pdml and if we look at this we end up getting this massive XML format, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this as ICMP dot, uh, let's just call this XML, right? So I have this file in here, ICMP dot XML. And now what I want to do is convert this into HTML. Now, interestingly, user sh uh, share Wireshark contains an XSL file called PDML to HTML, which will actually help us do this transformation. Now, in order to be able to do this transform, we also need another utility called XSLT proc. So let's install that. So sudo apt, let's do an update first. Lately the update command seems to be taking a little bit more time than I'd like. Okay, now let's actually install xslt proc. Okay, now all we have to do is type in xslt proc, give it the xsl file in user share wireshark pdml to html xsl and then to give it the xml file here and let's pipe that out to icmp.html. Now let's open up icmp.html in Firefox. And if you notice, we end up getting this HTML. Of course, this uh, doesn't give us any info, but if you look closely, we have these arrows on the left and you can click on it. And beautifully, this ends up expanding to go ahead and show you all the fields we are so accustomed to see within Wireshark. 
right? Fantastic. So all of this info is actually in here. Now you can close a frame as well, but keep in mind this is just a UI change. If you refresh the file, uh, this will once again appear. Here is an ARP packet. You can see that, right? Great. So hopefully you enjoyed this little you know transformation trick of converting different PCAP uh, packets into HTML. So this is all I had in mind for this video. And if you like this, please do recommend Pentester Academy to your friends and colleagues uh, in the security community. Thank you and have a great day ahead.